Okay, if you're anything like me, you suffer from a little bit of Valheim burnout from time to time. And a really good way to extend longevity of regular play, if you haven't seen this already, is the Valheim map generator. You can basically search for seeds that have top, top quality resources and locations in the areas close and convenient to spawn. And that makes things really smooth and lovely. You can also search for really cool building uh, locations and unique generations via the world generator as well. And I'm going to show you how. So first off, here is where you type in the seed. Uh, I'm going to type in, instead of going random, I'm going to type in something specific. So there's specific, uh, lowercase and capitals. If you switch them up, it's going to change how the world generates. Uh, but I'm typing in something specific because it's going to be very good to remember and very easy to write down and look up in the future, share with your friends. Very good. So already, I'm looking at this one here. I see the spawn island here. I'm liking all of the archipelago. This means that carve sailing is going to be really convenient up until, up until the Black Forest. Uh, this is also really good because this is all shallow sailing. If you are ever unsure about what's an island and what's not, looking all weird in these oceans and shallows, all you need to do is go from visible layer here, full terrain to biomes only, and we'll be able to see what's an island and what's not, what part is meadows, what part is black forest. Super easy and convenient. Let's go back to full terrain, something that I always love to do. Uh, before I go in and check the next map is put on the trader. This loads really, really fast. And I see there's no trader really on spawn island. It's kind of an annoying sail here. Uh, this is all ocean, so could spawn serpents. If it is night, well, you can sleep. But if it storms, mm, serpent could also spawn, and that's a problem in the early game. So this is good. Uh, trader not on starting area, a bit of an issue. This swamp here, not bad, but we check for tombs and crypts because we want all of that convenient, good iron. Very important, you need a lot of iron. Uh, and we have no crypts already. Now this is gonna take a while to load because it's going to load sunken crypts, it's going to load uh, burial chambers, it's, it's gonna load all of that. So. It, takes a while it's always something that i check after the trader and i don't usually check it if there's only such a small swamp here yeah not the best there's also no plains and very little mountains even though this is a large mountain frost caves take a long time to show up and, and load in so usually i just go by the amount of large mountains there are this one will probably have six or seven is my guess uh it's really good size last thing i check is maypole if everything looks good and oh look at this maypole location really solid uh again i want to see if this is all saleable because this is a really good area if there were good swamps and some plains here this would be really excellent although preferably this would be like closer to the coast like right here right here there wherever in the meadows maybe even here if this is meadows it's probably black forest Let's go check that real quick. Yeah, it's kind, It's close to Black Forest, kind of close to water, but not really close enough. You have to build a little road, little road out for a cart. You go ship to cart to base, which is not as convenient as a maple right on the coast. So let's go back to full terrain, and we'll change up the way that I type this up. So no caps this time, let's load it up, hope we get something even better. Mm, we have something definitely different. Ooh, look at the size of this spawn island. It is massive and it extends all the way up into the mistlands with easy, easy sailing from black forest to black forest, black forest to black forest, mistlands, mistlands. This is the hook, I can immediately tell by the uh, shape of this mountain here. 
nice little hook or chicken leg. This is the second tallest mountain that can ever generate on a Valheim world. So really nice already. Super nice. Frost caves. This, this is going to have frost caves. So it's this, maybe this one here, like one or two there, one or two there, one or two there. Uh, maybe like four there. Frost caves are all set. We have some decent waterways here and here. You just sail all the way up here. This probably has a decent amount of crypts in it. Let's give it a check. But what I'm noticing already is Trader is really inconvenient. Trader is really inconvenient. So when I see inconvenient Trader, I'm out. I'm gone. I was going to check other things, but prioritize the Trader having a convenient location and swamps with crypts being convenient. And then you check mountains. How many are there in the area and then you check do we have planes attached you can go from swamp to get your root harness go into planes early collect some needles for needle needle arrows early which is really nice and then also you can even farm some barley or get an early sharpening stone all of that is very very spicy let us check this now Dude, this was almost really good Almost. Mm, okay. Uh, this very long extends somewhat outward all the way down to Mistlands and Ashlands, which is really cool. Swamps are kind of lacking. You gotta, you gotta go over here, but also this is looking like it's gonna be really good. Like this looks like it's a really easy sail whole lot of trips probably let's do a check plenty really good plus you have a decent amount up there too very solid crypt wise uh the question of course again where is the trader where is the trader looks like this one there again waiting for these crypts to load in is probably a mistake should have looked for a trader faster before loading all the crypts in come on come on Trader is, again, nowhere to be found. Okay. Okay, so we'll do another variation of this. Keep looking for that ideal seed. And if I see any other unique uh, generations, I will point that out too. So already we have really nice waterways here going in here. We have a decent sized swamp here with probably a lot of crypts and then something there. This is all accessible because of this waterway and this waterway, which is really nice. We have Trader just up here. Uh, plains. Got some mountains there. This is easy sailing. We have a bunch of mountains here, here. We're pretty good on frost caves and crypts, so it seems. So this is looking very spicy. Let's check. See if we have a maypole. Give that a look. If there is no maypole, it's not the end of the world. You can always load one in. It is, it is one extra minute of comfort, which is nice. Or rested, but, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. Mm. There is a lovely coastal maypole here, but it is far out. So, oh! Never mind, we have a coastal maple here. Let's check out the biomes. How close is this to Black Forest? Not bad at all. Uh, and then looks like we have some sailing out here, which is, you can avoid all of that, collect a bunch of copper and tin in here or around here, or even just, what am I saying? Just sail over here and back. Really good, really, really good. Of course, this is all safe sailing down in here to get access to your crypts. Speaking of crypts, let's go back to the full terrain to check out how exactly, oh yeah, oh yeah, there's a lot. So this is looking to be a really, really good seed. We have specific with the S and the last C capitalized. Excellent. So let's get rid of the tombs crypts now. And the last thing that I wanna check now that everything's good is bosses. 
I really want to see, is there Elder convenient? Yes, Elder is convenient. Once you have Crypt's access to uh, all of the iron in there, then you can longship sail out fairly safely, outrun serpents at your convenience, and ooh, you can get down and around to very inconvenient boss locations pretty easily. So Modair is convenient. Bone mass is inconvenient, but that's fine because uh, it's post iron, so you can just long ship your way over there. Yaglith is very convenient. Uh, so the bosses are looking great. Post elder, everything's looking good there. Uh, I will check for additional sort of uh, superfluous things. Things that are just kind of neat to check once you have a good seed. So, I'm going to look for Leviathans. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know what Leviathans are. They're going to load up very nice and easy. Do we have some nice, easy coastal Leviathans? Uh, looks like we have one here, another one here. These are pretty easy. This one's easy as well. What's important for Leviathans is that you're going Black Forest, Black Forest. You're not landing in a dangerous area so that you can escape serpents no problem. So this is easy. This is easy because you can go here, here. This is easy because you can go here, here. Super convenient. Uh, this one's easy if you head out from the swamp and head here. Super easy. So that's, Leviathans are looking great. I do want to check uh, shipwrecks. And this will load in the meadows buried ships, like the, the ship graveyards, as well as the, frankly, much better, uh, sh like, fine wood shipwrecks that you can break with a flint axe early in the Black Forest or in the swamps and plains, which don't really care about the ones in the swamps and plains. So it's loading a whole bunch of weird shipwrecks that we don't really care about and it's loading some that are going to be really good in the early game and how do we know it's which is which well we again go to biomes only so it looks like there's a bunch of meadows ones here this one's really good because this is an early shipwreck that you can get this is another one so this is early fine wood early fine wood really easy you can just get to carve go over there not even car carve takes fine wood you would just Swim here, head over here, boom, fine wood. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's super nice. Something that I also want to check. Uh, not that. Let's go Draugr Villages. I love Draugr Villages. I love getting all of that early wood. We have one over here, two over here, which is really nice like having one right next to the planes. So there's one right next to the planes here. Question is now, for the coolest of building, can I have a Draugr village next to a fulling camp? So let's go check camps here. Mm, not quite. So this one, nope. Fulling camps. Doesn't look like there's one conveniently next to a Draugr village. Yeah, I'm not really seeing one. It could be further out, but I'm not seeing one. Mmm, there we go. Lean. Boom. Super, super good. It's probably a little far, but you can make a giant base here. It would look gorgeous. Be a cool uh, encounter to fight wise. Let's get rid of camps and Draugr villages. I want to look for unique uh, terrain now for building. So one of the coolest things is a split mountain with a river. That's a really good view, really good building. But this is top notch. Hippest of top notch. Amazing, amazing, amazing generation. I cannot stress this enough because Black Forest within mountains, that was already cool. 
Black Forest and Plains Within Mountains. Let's get a better look at that. Yeah. Yeah, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Just, this is the build spot. You want a Plains farm in here, set up a really aesthetic build in here. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is really good for building, really good for progression. Uh, this seed is just phenomenal, specific. Very nice. Just a beautiful seed. And this is close too. You go here, go here. Very easy sailing. Super good. Super, super good. Can I find now a split mountain with a river? This was close, but not exactly what I'm looking for. This, this is it. We got a little bit of mist lands and then the mountain is split here with the river. Again, we can see the river more clearly with the terrain here. Let's go full terrain again. Boom. There's your split mountain. Another great build spot. So we have good build spot here. We have amazing build spot just over, where is it? Just over here. Really, really nice. Progression is really solid all the way up to plains, but heading up to Mistlands, not as much. Heading into Deep North and Ashlands, not as much. So it's a really good seed for now, but with the Mistlands coming soon, maybe you'd want one with uh, the sort of general local area Extending all the way up Mistlands, maybe deep north, maybe south Mistlands, Ashlands. Or maybe you find that really rare seed, which should be possible for there to be good sailing. Plus everything I've mentioned for progression, uh, trader crypts, uh, plains, mountains, plenty of that. But also convenient land mass all the way from spawn area to Ashlands, deep north, plenty of Mistlands. Although that is extremely, extremely rare. Extremely rare. So, I believe that's everything. Should be everything good. Uh, yeah, used it. that's everything that uh, I take note of. Uh, I, I will say that with every update, sometimes you lose your Maypole location. I don't know why. It is... Really good to have multiple maypole locations on one good seed, which, hey, multiple coastal maypoles? Amazing. All right, so hope you've enjoyed. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.